We're getting you all the updates from Russia. There was a mutiny carried out by Wagner, which was aborted shortly. And now everything is sort of pointing at this man, Sergei Surovikin. Who is he? He is nicknamed as General Armageddon by Russian media for his ruthlessness and is among senior generals who have reportedly disappeared from public view ever since the aborted mutiny. Soon after Prigozhin tried to carry out the mutiny on Russia, Surovikin appeared in a video. He looked uncomfortable. He was breathing hard and without insignia. And he was urging Prigozhin to give up the mutiny on Rostov-on-Don. Now, reports now suggest he was a secret VIP member of the Wagner private military company. The Kremlin has pushed back against multiple reports. Here are some key facts about General Surovikin, who has been missing now. CNN reported Surovikin was a secret VIP member of Wagner. A New York Times report based on a U.S. intelligence briefing said Surovikin had advanced knowledge of the mutiny and authorities were checking if he was complicit here. The Kremlin dismissed what it termed as rumors and speculations and pushed back against claims over his involvement in the Wagner rebellion altogether. Russian officials say the decorated Russian commander is not being held in a pre-trial detention center in Moscow. Where he is, well, that still remains unknown. Wagner was first seen in action in eastern Ukraine soon after a separatist conflict erupted there in 2014, April, after Russia's annexation of Crimean Peninsula. While backing the separatist insurgency, Russia denied sending its own weapons and troops there, despite ample evidence to the contrary. Engaging private contractors in the fighting allowed Moscow to maintain a degree of deniability. Wagner personnel also deployed to Syria, where Russia supported President Bashar Assad's government in a civil war. General Surovikin played a key role in the Syrian conflict as well. He oversaw the relentless targeting of rebel-held areas in an effort to break the opponent's will. Russian combat aircraft caused widespread devastation here. Now, in Libya, Wagner fought alongside forces of Commander Khalifa Haftar. The group has also operated in the Central African Republic and Mali in the African region. Prigozhin has reportedly used Wagner's deployment to Syria and African countries to secure lucrative mining contracts. Now, moving ahead, let's analyze Wagner's role in Ukraine. Wagner took an increasingly visible role in the war as regular Russian troops suffered heavy attrition and lost territory in setbacks initially. Wagner boss Prigozhin toured Russian prisons to recruit fighters, promising pardons if they survived six months on the front line with Wagner. Wagner claimed full credit for capturing the Donetsk region's salt mining town of Solidar in Ukraine. Wagner repeatedly complained that the Russian military failed to supply sufficient ammunition to capture Bakhmut. Prigozhin singled out Shoigu, the defense minister in Russia, for withering criticism while accusing Russian military leaders of incompetence. His frequent complaints were unprecedented for Russia's tightly controlled political system, in which only Putin could air such criticism. Now, Wagner then attempted to stage a mutiny and capture Russian generals. But the mutiny was short-lived and he backed out later.